Okay, Mike, could you tell us a bit about the European pipeline for Stabridge Suites, what you've got coming up down the line? Yeah, we're optimistic about our, our pipeline. We operate over 190 Stabridge Suites across, across the world. We've got uh, over 80 Stabridge Suites uh, in, in the pipeline. Closer to home here in Europe, we've just recently opened a Stabridge Suites in Birmingham. Uh, another property in Vauxhall, London, opening uh, at the end of this year. And a couple more uh, developments, one in Azerbaijan and one in the Ukraine. So, yeah, we're growing and we're optimistic about growth for the future. Okay, and at these properties, what's the, really, the approximate ratio of business to leisure travellers? Who's actually staying with you? Yeah, it's difficult to give an exact uh, mix business to leisure. It'll depend on location. What, what we try and focus on more is around the extended state mix. Now, of course, typically that's driven by projects, so it's more likely to be a, a business customer. That said, though, we're seeing an uh, increasing popularity with uh, leisure customers as well, families looking for a bit more comfort, a bit more space. Uh, so it's an important market for us, but the majority typically is, is business-related uh, stays. Mm -hmm. And are, are there any particularly hot markets that you're looking at now that you're really keen to get into in terms of countries and cities in Europe? We're looking at all key cities across Europe, anywhere where we think there's extended stay demand, a lot of projects. We're looking at particular locations in, in all key cities, so we're quite open to key cities across Europe um, where we think stay with suites can work. Okay. And lastly, how do you envisage the service department and extended stay sector growing in Europe over the next five years? What would you think its potential is? I, I think there is this huge potential, and I think there's a number of factors behind that. First of all, on the supply side, as the economies are getting better um, across Europe, we're going to be seeing more projects uh, coming with extended stay opportunities. On the demand side, uh, there's going to be more and more people travelling for business, more and more people who are going to be working on projects. And what we're also seeing is an increasing trend of people looking for that additional comfort, additional space, and great value for money that an extended state product, Sabre Suites, can bring. So we're, we're bullish about the future uh, and the future growth of Sabre Suites. Do you have any figures in mind for how many properties you're likely to open in the next five years? We don't have um, exact numbers on, on how many we will have. But like I said, we're positive about, about our growth. Um, we've got over 190 globally, and, and we're looking to grow on that. Great. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you.